everybody welcome back to my channel it's your girl Sherry Lisa here and I just came off a trip um, at this point you've probably seen all the videos we celebrated my roommate Stoy's birthday so really happy birthday love you so much I had a great time in Buffalo travel me with me pack with me um, and unpack with me were some of my favorite videos like um, I like unboxings and all that stuff and so I did some damage and I want to talk about what I actually traveled with and so I'm gonna show you my like weekender bag and then my travel bag and then d jump into what I purchased so if you're interested interested in seeing what I packed so we can unpack then stay tuned first things first guys don't forget to subscribe like comment let me know if there's anything in here that you have purchased or travel with um, I think that I pack excessively and one thing I want to make a habit for myself is probably doing more of a leave some room for shop because that's exactly what happened. So I'm going to all of it because it's really just my makeup. This is one of my Supreme bags that I purchased sometime last year. It's got my essential makeup items, you know, your powder, your foundation, cream, and all that stuff. I'll be honest, I didn't wear any of this. Um, where we went in Buffalo was very cozy vibes. It was very much like, hey, let's get in the car. Let's go and pick up pizza ice cream or whatever and just come back to the house I don't know where I thought I was going with all of this makeup and so I will say that um, I have my, my normal essentials you know I've got lashes mascara concealer uh, prime. this makeup bag I will definitely go into so the first thing I have is the honey pot um, wipes I didn't use these but I think I leave that inside of this bag all the time this used to be my purse when I it looks like a diaper bag but it used to be my purse when I was traveling to Midtown so that I can go to work and I always kept this in here because you, just, you don't want to smell like poop or anything like that while you're at work so these are really good to have plus they are plant-based and I really love honey pot some nuts I always keep raisins and nuts um, in my bag and then I think the rest yeah the rest of this is pretty much all of my brushes that I did not use um what else and then I have a bar of soap that I didn't use because um where I was at the my friend my roommate's family allowed me to use like their body wash and like how was I gonna travel with that back so it's kind of good that I didn't use that I've got a um lip liner eyeliner pencil in here I've got a cloth for I guess my sunglasses. Oh, I bought a new lip gloss. Um, I actually want to talk about this one day on my channel. So this is number two, 009 Topaz. Um, this is the Maybelline Lift Lifter Gloss. It has hyaluronic acid in it. It's so nice so 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 nice i've been wanting the topaz and the funny thing is i was telling my roommate so i was like yo i knew i was going to find that lip gloss in that um location because it, it, it's, it's a small town so it's not one of those those towns where it's like we're gonna be ransacked the way it is here in fucking harlem and in the bronx and stuff like that like sally henson extreme wear i wanted an orange i don't have this in my collection it's called sun kissed so this is what it looks like are you ready Awesome. Okay. I hop in the shower. I like to unpack as soon as I get home. I don't want to waste any time at all. So Marshalls. And I forgot that I really like this company. This is the Schmitz um, deodorant. It's for sensitive skin. This is Jasmine tea. And then I have the Ylang Ylang Calendula. Um, and it's a natural deodorant. I like natural deodorants. I have used Schitt's, me Schitt's before, but I just can't remember where I purchased it. And I found it for five bucks at um, Marshalls. They had a huge selection. Their whole Marshalls was filled. I feel like I went to the perfect town to shop, you know, for those kind of essential items. Because here in the city, we they ransack everything. Going anywhere with my sunscreen, super goop. I've got my balancing essence. I've got a bag of um, something I didn't use. Okay. So I think it's good to travel with tampons and panty liners and then a couple Q-tips. I was only gone for like four days. Um, and then I have my toothbrush and then my tongue scraper inside of this. But this is an actual, um, what is this called? A shower cap. And I put everything in there with the intention of using a shower cap. You used it zero times. Skin was dry. Dry. I cannot wait to bring it back to life soon. And then I have this deodorant that I purchased from Whole Foods not so long ago. I really hate it, honestly. And I'm so glad I got that new deodorant. And then I got the Copa, Copa Cabana 
bronze glow oil from Sol de Janeiro, which I really love. I don't, I really had intentions of putting on a wow fit and did nothing, none of, none of the sorts. Um, I love this new razor bumps solution. I got this on Amazon. I can link it below if anybody is curious. I like to put this under my pits in the goodie section um, to make sure that I don't get any razor burns, pains or anything like that. Pomegranate AHAs and enzymes resurfacing mask is for oil and combination skin. I used it once while I was out there and I, something's going on, I, not going on, but the water is different there. And so I feel like my skin wasn't really absorbing much of anything. Uh, this is the Hello Natural Whitening Fluoride Toothpaste, with her, which I brought. And then I carried Drunk Elephant Passioni Retinol Cream. Um, and then I have this, I used to love the Sally Henson Hard as Nails um, Clear Top Coat. I've had this for a while, but I saw it at... A family dollar for two dollars and usually it's like five dollars so I feel like I needed to pick it up. Um, I got some toothpicks in there um, and then I also have the Soldier Janeiro Coco Cabana Cream. This is so nice. I feel like every time I put it on people are like why you smell so good. I also brought the other one the Bum Bum Cream. I feel like it's a little too sweet. This was the birthday gift from Sephora. I forgot to mention that in my, in my last Sephora haul. Then I have Wild Poppy Scented Shimmer. This Wild Poppy smells so good. It's sexy as i'm about to take a shower i love it i gave the wall puppy to my friend megan which she loves so much i'm glad that she did all right and then this is my little pack of essential items that i carry with me everywhere so i've got these pacifica underarm deodorant wipes there's a couple left in there always carry a mirror um a sanitation wipe always carry a vitamin d support like little packet and then I've got sanitizer. Oh, thanks to my mom, I always have a flashlight, um, gum, gel sanitizer. And then I really love this um, Sugar Sport Fresh. It's SPF 20? 30, actually. And you can put this over your whole face if you wanted to. Um, and that's in that bag. All right, let's see what else is in here because it's a whole box. Is. Um, always carrying equipment so the camera that I'm recording this on needs to be charged. I only have to charge it once. My headphones, the keys to my house, my wallet. Let's see what else. A pair of glasses that I did not wear. And then I have, I always carry my black seed oil with me because this is very important. Um, and then I have a mask from Vera Bradley, got a Tide pen, and I have a Snickers bar. Let's see what else. Is there anything else? Front pockets. Nope. And then a crystal. My rose quartz. Can't go anywhere without it. So, that is this. So, we went to the Nike outlet. Um, it's a clearance store. Um, I always carry my Birkenstocks because you gotta get you gotta get burked out. It kind of grew within the last year or so, and so I need a com comfortable seat because I live um, near. I think everyone in New York City should have a good pair of sneakers, and um, I think that's all I have to say about that. So I have these, which I purchased. These are the 2090. No, what are these? These are the Air Zooms. They're so freaking comfortable. And I have had a pair of blue sneakers in so long. A pair of Reacts. The funny thing is, on my channel, if you've been watching for a while, I talked about buying these sneakers and I think I, I returned them in the previous not video. Like after I did the video and then my back of my foot was itching and scratching. It was just, it was bloody, it was disgusting. I went and returned them. And so I went a half size up and then I had longer socks and I was like, wow, these are perfect. They feel amazing. This is literally air. I got these zooms. These are the Wild Horse Nike Trail. I really like them because the way that they fit on my feet mold really well to like the arches. And I kind of don't want to wear socks with them because I think they'll be great for working out and stuff like that. And so I'm just really excited to wear these. These are probably my favorite pair that I've purchased for my sock. Oh, there's more shit in my bag. I do have to open it. Okay. I got this Nike zoo swoosh this shit is fly like this is stitched in i like nike gear the nike drips whatever you know nike and the swoosh name and logo are trademarks and you're guaranteed of quality swoosh nike sports for 1972. so i love pink this is like a pink fuchsia mix um i got that and then um what else did i get from nike i bought this top Sometimes you need a long sleeve, just do it. So cute. Clearly love pink. I got this Nike shirt because I love these racer backs. Um, this is an XL. 
I don't want to get it too big because I don't like when things get loose and then they stretch out. And you know cotton can stretch out really quickly. I got this in a 2X and I wish I would have gotten a 1X because um, what I end up... So we, my, my roommate's family has a sauna and so I put this on and it was like a little too loose. And I think this is a light support, a light medium support. Either way, I'm happy with it. Like, I'm not really complaining because I do need some sports bra that fit me. But it probably wouldn't work out with this. Like, this is good for yoga. It might be do good for a new exfoliating bath glove. Ooh, what's nice about this? This is what, four bucks? Yeah. It has a little suction so I can just put it on the back of um, the bathroom or whatever. Um, the exfoliating glove should really be thrown away. It says 30 days on here, but like... Yeah, for best results, replace every 30 days. But truly, I think you should throw it away within like two to three months. I've had mine longer than that. So I'm going to throw those dusty things away. I got those two um, deodorants. And the last thing I got was these hemp detoxifying foot pads. I was really intrigued by this. This was four bucks or five bucks. Um, and it's it says that you should wear it for eight hours. I would probably apply a pair of old socks to keep pads in place while sleeping. I've heard about this. This helps with detoxing the um, your feet from like pain and um, germs and stuff like that. It says best results apply one pad per foot for five consecutive days and break for two days. Um, the ingredients it has in there it's vinegar, bamboo vinegar, chitin, shaitosan, tourmaline, vitamin C, vegetable fiber, wheat dextrin, hemp seed. Um, let's talk about the gap stuff because the gap stuff is my favorite. I got five things from there. So I got this like cute little top. It had a nice quality. This was three dollars. Just a plain pink shirt that I can wear because it's been really warm here in New York City. And then I got this, um, what is this, a jumpsuit? No, this is a bodysuit. It's just a plain bodysuit, which I love. And then I got these pink leggings, which is going to miss me match with all the other people. This is my high, high bright pink girl. And then I got two, I love to sleep in shorts. And I got two pairs. I got this one. And then where's the other one? Now I've created such a mess. Last but not least, I got me a little Christmas pair. These are like shorts that I like to sleep with at night. 